Hello everybody, greeting in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today I like to share from Mark chapter 16, verse 14 to 18. Later he appeared to the eleven as they sat at the table, and he rebuked their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they did not believe those who had seen him after he had risen. And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons, they will speak with new tongues, they will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we just read about the resurrection of our Savior. In the day when he rose from the dead, firstly he showed to the women who visited the tomb. And those women saw that Christ is risen. And later, they like to share the good news to the disciples, the 11 disciples. And we just read that the disciples did not respond well, and they were not believing what they heard from the woman. At last, Jesus himself showed to them, and when we read in verse 14, it says that he rebuked their unbelief and hardness of heart. Oh, it is so sad that the disciples did not believe the resurrection of Christ at the first place. They were unbelief. And again, brothers and sisters, Jesus oftentimes rebuked the Pharisees and the Sadducees because of their unbelief. It's like spreading when someone did not believe. It is like yeast spreading in dough. Brothers and sisters, we just read that we need to receive the resurrection of Christ with our faith. In verse 15, Jesus continued telling the disciples to go to minister to the people, bringing the good news to all those who do not believe yet. Again, the news says, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. Amen. Starting from the disciples, the few disciples who get rebuked by the Lord because of their unbelief and their hardness of heart. Thankfully, they believe because they have seen Christ. But again, just like Jesus says, those who do not see yet believe is blessed. Amen. When we read in verse 15, again, we understand that we need to go and evangelize to people. We need to go, we need to walk and travel to meet people and share the good news, the resurrection of Christ and the incarnation of Christ, of Him. Brothers and sisters, let us obey. And in verse 16, the Bible says, He who believes and is baptized will be saved. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It is, it is a good news. It is a simple faith that saves us. It says that he who believes in the Lord Jesus Christ, he is saved. And verse 17 and these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. 
and they will speak with new tongues. They will wake up, they will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will be by no means hurt them. And they will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the promise that our Savior gave. He is with us, and His Holy Spirit is with us. Hallelujah. God bless you.